Welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove this plastic interior cover from the rear of the Celica. Um, now, the reason I'm removing this is because I need to do some welding in the seals and I need to inspect the metal from the inside. Uh, another reason that you may want to remove this is to access the speakers or do some uh, work around the seat belt. So, without further ado, I will get started. So, the first thing that you need to do is to remove the rear seats, insert YouTube card or look really silly, and then you get access to these two bolts. And that allows some freedom of movement as you can see. Now that screw there is actually screwing two pieces of trim that are together so we need to remove that. In my car this is a Phillips head. I have no idea what it will be in your car. Now the next one is this screw here. Again Phillips head in my car but this is not the original screw so you may find anything in there. To remove the speaker cover, what I do is use a flathead screwdriver, but what I do is I grab a bit of masking tape and put the masking tape on the tip of the flathead screwdriver. Drivers, because I don't know which one I'm going to use, but you just need to prise it off using the screwdriver. There you go. And you can see the clips, the type of clips here. And where they are located. And then you need to remove this very long screw as well. You see it's a different type of screw to the usual stuff you find. Right here what you see is that you may want to remove this trim bit, which is just a matter of lifting it up, yeah, and then you pull out the interior bit. So you need to reach with your hand underneath from behind here to lift it forward, and then the whole thing just comes apart fairly easily. And you see underneath here, it's easier to just lift it out. And then over there you just slide it outwards. Now bonus feature uh, removing the speaker because well why not. Um, you also see the seat belt is here so because I'm inspecting the rear uh, for rust I'm going to remove the seat belt the speaker and uh, damp proofing the soundproofing. So there's the speaker is just three bolts, one there on the bottom, one here and one here. And after those three bolts are out it should come out very easily. And now when you pull it out you gotta be careful as there's a little guiding pin there and then underneath you have the connection for the power there which you can remove before or after pulling it out and it's probably easier to remove it before you pull it out. You pull the clip inwards and then you lift up the, the plastic clip. And there you go, the speaker is out. Now seat belt. Again, seat belt has a clip here. So what you do with this clip is push down on the tab and then pull out the clip. Then you remove this bolt for the seat belt mounting. It's a 14 millimeter and quite a beefy one. Make sure you don't lose it. And now there's another bolt here just to guide the system. And that's another dreaded 10mm. Now you just need to lift it upwards in there. 
and we're going, we'll be good. So now you have full access to the exterior panel in case you need to do anything about it. Uh, and in this case, you can see here where the rust stops. So this is effectively the line where I would need to cut my panel uh, from the inside and replace it. And clearly there has been some uh, welding done in there in the past, which is interesting. So that's how to remove the rear trim panel of the Celica. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, please like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel and uh, leave a comment if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions on how to do this differently. And um, yeah, I'll see you soon.